Hello friends, welcome to the Alpha Point. I'm Vishal and today I'm going to show Samsung Galaxy Note 2 running the official Android 4.3. This is a stock Android 4.3 update from the Samsung here. So let's see what is inside this ROM here. So let's start with the home screen. So as you can see the home screen is almost same from the previous version of Jelly Bean 4.1.2. It has not changed but there are some application that has changed like the Samsung apps icon has been changed here the other home screen are same here we have the default 7 home screen and if we bring out our S Pen it will move to the new home screen that will be bring out if you bring out your S Pen from your device so it is same here the home screen and the user interface is almost same from previous version so we have video hub we have the music player here flipboard and the applications here five dock icons here so the addition here in the home screen is the addition of creating a folder here so just if you want to create a folder you can create by pressing the menu key and create a folder name it anything that you want and create a folder we can place any application inside this folder here just drag an application inside this and if we hover our pin on that folder we would be able to see the applications that are inside that folder let's make that now as you can see the applications are coming out to show what is inside that folder so this is the addition in the stock android 4.3 here so now see uh, what are ad other additions in the official update as you can see set for paper apps and widgets here same as and you can add folder by creating clicking on here so you can add folder by just clicking on the show home screen by long pressing and there is no change whatsoever it will go to the home setting mode you can set any home screen as your default home screen so you can select any one of them it will be your home screen default home screen so you can add we can't add more than six applications five applications in the dock screen here so an extra icon can be inserted in the dock menu so now see the lock screen here in lock screen it is same but we have a new effect from samsung galaxy s4 the light effect and if we just hover our pen over we can see a light here and if we just press it will show a light effect here we can bring that down and we can edit our lock screen right from here we can change the clock size small normal large date owner information you can add here or remove here we can add dual clock so this can be added here we can have five application widgets here and you can have the widgets if you swipe from your left to right you can add more as you want select any one of them and you can add more or swipe more you can add even more so this will keep going on until you want to have and if you swipe from your right to left there is no option to add a widgets in your right side as in other ROMs we have seen the camera application coming out but in this ROM the official update there is no option to add that so this is the, our lock screen now see the notification bar so if we swipe from with two fingers it will show all the notifications option here or if you swipe from one hand it will show the default applications here the, the brightness you can remove this and if your pen is out then it will show the pen options here you can remove it from here so we have an addition of settings option here you can go to the settings right from clicking here we see the different all the notification options showing here but just click here if we click on date or time it will go to a date and time settings here or if you click on date here it will not go to the calendar to or clock application it will go to the date and time time settings so since in other rom we have seen if we click on date view would be thrown to the clock application setting but not in this the not in this official update 
so see what we have here so we have Wi-Fi GPS sound settings ro screen rotation Bluetooth mobile data blocking mode power saving so these are were present in the previous version and there is just one option has been added here the screen mirroring so as you can see all the options are same here except the screen mirroring which has which will mirror your screen to other Samsung Galaxy devices now let's see the applications that we got and the app drawer so in app drawer first we can have the folder options you can add folder like in home screen here you can place any folder inside this application just go there and edit and place an application inside this folder here just drag an application inside this and click save it will put all that application inside that folder here if you click here it will show the application inside that folder or hover to see the application inside here so this has been added here you can hide applications share applications from here you don't need to take a backup you just can share to other devices by just clicking on share applications and it will share only the downloaded apps that you download from market or any other source not the inbuilt application you can't share them share them to other devices so this has been added here the group play has been added here so let's see what are the applications here ASL services calculator we have a new calculator here the user interface has changed here the camera application is same from the previous version no addition you can have the same as you can see everything is same here just click on it and you can change what you want the options here you can change the option what you want to see here the settings application can't be changed as this is default so so the camera application is same from the previous version here let's see ch chat on is here the chrome application clock application is same the context application is also same from previous version no changes at all downloads dropbox flipboard fm radio is here photos gallery gmail google group play group play has been added here from samsung lc s4 and note 3 the help option has been provided to you to read about the new changes here the nox application is has been provided in the new update it will improve your security but to enable the nox you need to download 154 mb so you can use the nox but you have to download first and it will improve your phone security there the learning hub is here and the hangouts game hub email application you can integrate your messaging application in hangouts we have maps messaging application same no changes at all music application we have a music hub it will show the catalog from store a new store has been added here but it is not available in my country right now the my files is same but the change of the text here the SD memory card and the device storage and everything is same the features of note 3 has been not provided in the update here so we, we would not be able to see the features of note 3 here we have paper artist phone same as previous playbooks play games magazines play magazines has been you can download it from the google market play movies play music play store readers so s note is same from the previous version of note 2 just try a s note try to write anything here so as you can see this the options are same here productive tools text mode eraser undo insert option and the voice memo or you can record this so there is no changes at all in s note 2 the s note from note 3 has been not provided in the official update of note 2 here so we have s planner s suggest s voice samsung apps galaxy link samsung wallet the apps the icon of samsung app has been changed here we have samsung link samsung wallet you can have the wallet but you need to download first and you can use to for payment we have video a new video player has been provided so it will play the background 
video it will play the video in the background here as you can see it is playing here so you can have the new you can use the new video player in your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 we have a video hub but video hub is not working right now it it's showing coming soon if you open this application here voice recorder uh, google settings and galaxy gear Gal if you don't see the galaxy gear option in your the official update you can download it from the samsung apps so i just downloaded it from samsung app to manage the galaxy gear so it will not show first you need to connect your device with the galaxy gear to connect your device turn on your nfc in your phone and just bring both the device and touch them from back to back and it will connect automatically there we have google settings youtube voice search so these are the application has been added in the official update now see what we have in settings in settings we have wi-fi we have the first thing that will you will notice that we have the tabs option everything has been categorized in tabs the connections tab my device tab account tab and more so here we have the data usage mobile network nfc has been these are options here in the connections tab in my device we have lock screen display led indicator sound home screen so in lock screen what are the options that options that we have see uh, swipe face unlock face and voice pattern pin password none uh, gesture option gesture options has not been provided here we have multiple widgets that in the lock screen that i have shown previously to you can change the unlock effect to ripple effect of previous version of note 2 here in display settings what we have we have page for day multi window notification panel daydream you can have daydream screen saver if your dock if your device is in dock or charging you can have the home screen mode easy mode or the standard mode in display what we got changed is the screen mode like as you can see we have a dynamic standard professional photo and movie changes from it has changed completely from the previous version of note 2 here the display mode has new addition in the official update screen mode has changed here but the color reproduction has also changed and it will show good colors right now we have call settings home screen settings blocking mode like in previous version hands free mode power saving mode so limit power cpu power or turn off haptic feedback here so these are the addition in the official update here the smart screen is same as smart screen and smart rotation no smart pause and smart scroll like the note 3 there yes. same settings from the previous version of note 2 here no addition the smart screen it has already shown to you and in accounts we have all the account if you have if you have added any accounts here so it will show in the accounts option here so accounts has been organized here in more what we have we have location services our gps settings here you can enable your gps we have security settings you, you can encrypt your device external sd card remote control sim alert so these are the option has been provided in the security options we have application manager it will show the downloaded applications sd card running application now in addition we in the official update of note 2 or in the android 4.3 jelly bean update we can move our applications to sd card so this has been a great option provided from samsung here like in previous version our memory was limited to use just our internal sd card but in the official in the new update we can move our application to sd card so it will improve our memory of our device so that's a good feature that has been added here the battery is i would say going not not giving a good battery i would say it is going from moderate to good battery not a good battery it will just uh, stay for one day not more than one day i would say the storage is it will show the storage option here but in previous version it was showing the only the 
space available here but it is showing 16 GB total space available right now and in the below option it is showing the total of space available here the SD card space here 16 GB and the 16 GB of the device memory here so in we have date and time settings and in about device let's see the version number here I was supposed to show the version number at first but uh, let's see right now here if you can see here Android number for Android version baseband version kernel version build number and these are this is the Android version here you can check your update here uh, since this is go is back on the stock Android so we can have update from Samsung here so it is checking it to server right now right now at, at present no update has been provided so it will not show here so these are the settings has been provided in the official update of Samsung Galaxy Note 2 we have a new multi window here just enable this like as you can see it the small icon has been moved from lower part to the middle part here and it has become smaller these are the applications has been provided default to use the multi window you can add more if your device is rooted and you need to download an application from google market called multi window manager and you can add any applications in the multi window options so if your device is rooted you can have that so these are the application that we can use as multi window you can move multi window from left to right and back to the left here so let's start an application to use it in multi window so as you can see it is the both applications is running in multi window here you can have s note work in multi window or any application that is showing in the multi window tab here so multi window has changed but the features of note 3 has not come here you can revert the screen here or make it full screen or you can just close this application here so this is the multi new multi window in the samsung galaxy note 2 and all the, and the final verdict on the official update of samsung galaxy note 2 is that i'm a bit disappointed by the samsung as since they have not added the features of note 3 here i was expecting air command and other features to be ported in the official update of note 2 but i'm bitterly disappointed so but if you want the note 3 features you can have the custom rom like it to Tigra and you can use them but if you just want to stick to the stock android you can have the update and this is i would say good but uh, the battery life is not going to good it has some bugs here samsung has provided a little small update to remove the bug but the battery is draining pretty fast here it is giving just a one day battery life like in, but in previous version it was giving more than a day like one and a half day to two days in moderate uses we need to wait for a small update that will samsung provide in new future to remove this bug completely and thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you